Okay, this is just a follow-up video. I have built this rack for my four kayaks. The walls of the shed slope inward so the rack had to go up on that angle. Um, it just holds those nicely, keeps them so they're not spread all over the shed here. Uh, we had a request for a follow-up video on the wiring for this kayak. So the fish finder wires that come with the fish finder, I just zip tied those together all the way along here about every four inches to kind of keep them together. I did put a zip tie right there to hold it to the kayak well. Um, since we had lots of extra wire, I did zip tie some loops together there. And then the power wire for both the trolling motor, which is sitting up here right now, and for the fish finder, the power comes together right in there. So this is the power off the motor. And this is the power from the fish finder. I use these Anderson power pull connectors. There are some generics of that same type of connector. It just, it's a quick disconnect where I go from the battery leads to the fish finder wires. It just allows me if I want to, to just unhook that. Um, and then the, this is the battery leads. The battery sits right there, and these will hook right onto it. The big ones here are for the trolling motor. These small ones are for the fish finder. And those little things will clip right over the battery on the battery box. Uh, the Minn Kota box that I have the battery sitting in. So that's power. Um, this... One of these wires actually, after it leaves this bundle, it curves and goes back to the shaft of the trolling motor. I zip tied it there and again at the bottom. And that goes down to the transducer here. The transducer I've got sitting right in front of the propeller or behind the propeller. Yeah, in front of the propeller and <laughs> behind that little fin. So that is the transducer wiring. So, can't wait to get it on the water. Thanks for watching again.